Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss the Java program in BlueJ environment, means how to write Java programs in BlueJ environment, how compile it and how to run the program, okay. So go to the computer screen. Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss another Java topic using BlueJ IDE and here I am using BlueJ version 4.1.4 and the problem is that write a program in Java to display the Fibonacci series up to certain terms which is taken as input. Okay, So go to the BlueJ IDE. So this is the BlueJ IDE. Now here I write the code for Fibonacci series up to certain terms. Okay, so at first we create the class. So just press new class button and suppose we put the class name Fibonacci underscore series. Okay, and press okay. So this is the class file. Just open the editor and whatever written within that editor by default, just tilt it. Okay. So as input is concerned, at first we should import java.util.scanner class. Okay. Then just write class Fibonacci underscore series. Okay. And now we are just write our public static void main and as argument sent string ARGS means string array. Now we just take some integer variables. So just write int n comma f t and whose value just initialize at 0 and another variable s t whose value is initialized at 1. Okay. Actually, ft here we initialize as a first term of the Fibonacci series and st is the second term of the Fibonacci series. Clear? Now, as an interactive way, we take the input. So, just write system dot out dot println and just write here within double quote enter the term double quote close parenthesis close semicolon. And now you just instantiate the scanner class. Scanner is equal new scanner. And as argument, just send system dot in. Now we take the input within the variable n. So just write n equal sc dot next int. Okay. We just print some line at first within the console after taking the input. So that's why you just write system dot out dot println and within double quote just write Fibonacci series till close this double quote plus small n plus within double quote put a space terms double quote int parenthesis close semicolon means Fibonacci series till n term and n we take as input clear now here we are using the for loop so just write for int i equal 1 semicolon i less equal n i plus plus okay and within this for we just write some statement so just write system dot out dot print and just write f t plus double quote open comma put a space double quote close and parenthesis close semicolon actually what happened the Fibonacci series is like that 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 in that way it is going on why because the Fibonacci series is a series where the next term is the sum of the previous two terms right the first two terms of the Fibonacci sequence are 0 followed by 1 so that's why at first we take first term is 0 and the second term is 1. So that's why at first we print the first term which is actually print 0 then put a comma and then the next term next term we just compute. Okay. 
Now what the logic for the computation? So here what happened? We take a integer. So just write int n t equal and just write f t plus s t. Okay. Now what happened? Again we just write f t equal s t. Next line we just write s t equal n t. So this is the logic actually. Now what happened? We just close our for loop. Then we close our main method and after we just close our class Fibonacci underscore series. So at first actually this first term print 0. Next after calculation it print 1. Next print 1. In that way up to the term which we put the input as the n value is concerned it just go up to that. Okay. Now we just compile this code so there is no error so close this editor and now we just run this code and call this main method so in the console just provide here enter the term so at first we put the term suppose 10 so just see fibonacci series till 10 terms what 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and what the logic 1 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 8 21 21 plus 13 34 okay if we run the program again and suppose we put the term for example 20 so we just print the 20 terms of this series after 34 55 89, 144, 233, 377, 6, 110, 987, 1597, 2584, 4181 in that way. So this is the 20 terms of Fibonacci series. Now if we again run this code and put the term suppose 5. So just it print 5 terms, first 5 terms, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. So I hope you have understood today's topic. Today's topic is to print the Fibonacci series up to a certain term and the term which we provide as input. I hope you have understood today's topic. For more videos, keep watching my channel Technical Arcoin. I hope that you have understood today's topic. For more videos, keep watching my channel Technical Arcoin. Thank you and bye bye.